change. You know, the film is so powerful because it is uncompromising, which is what the Black Panthers were themselves. They were uncompromising. Martin Sheen is an actor from America. Initially recognized for roles in films, the subject was Roses and Badlands, he later gained widespread recognition for his roles as Captain Benjamin Willard in Apocalypse Now, U.S. President Josiah Bartlett in The West Wing, and Robert Hansen in Grace and Frankie. Badlands earned Sheen the award for Best Actor at the San Sebastian International Film Festival for his portrayal of Kit Carruthers. In Apocalypse Now, Sheen's performance as Captain Willard garnered him a nomination for the BAFTA Award for Best Actor. Sheen has collaborated with numerous cinema filmmakers such as Richard Attenborough, Francis Ford Coppola, Terrence Malick, David Cronenberg, Mike Nichols, Martin Scorsese, Steven Spielberg, and Oliver Stone. A community who would unite the uh, peaceful, nonviolent uh, side of Martin Luther King and the activist side of Malcolm X. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Ramon Antonio Gerardo Estevez, but is also known as Sheen. He was born August 3rd, 1940 in Dayton, Ohio, US, making him 81 at the time of this production. He stands five feet, six inches tall. Martin is known for his political activism and turned down a chance to run for United States Senate in Ohio. He's a self-described pacifist who's publicly outspoken about left-leaning causes such as opposition to military actions. Martin's an honorary trustee of the Dayton International Peace Museum. In 1965, he supported the farm workers movement in Delano, California, endorsing marches and walkouts called by the activist group by any means necessary. Sheen reprised that support in the large-scale immigration marches in Los Angeles in 2006 and 2007. He has stated that he's been arrested 66 times for protesting and acts of civil disobedience. Sheen is part of the environmentalist group Earth First, as well as supporting Feed the Children, the We Are Silent campaign, and Help Darfur Now. Sheen decided to further his education after filming West Wing. He began his full-time studies in the autumn of 2006 at the National University of Ireland in Galway. He completed one semester, then left, but still has ties and relationships with the school. Sheen revealed in a 2011 interview with RTE that his wife was conceived through rape and that she would not exist if her mother had aborted her or thrown her in the Ohio River, as she had considered. She also disclosed that three of his grandchildren were conceived out of wedlock, saying his sons were not happy at the time, but they came to love these children. We have three grown grandchildren, two of them are married. They're some of the greatest sources of joy in our lives. On December 23, 1961, Sheen wed Janet Templeton, and the couple has four children, all of whom are actors. Emilio, Ramon, Carlos, and Rene. Carlos, however, opted to change his name when he began acting, adopting the name Charlie Sheen after anglicizing his first name and adopting his surname from his father's stage name, despite having been known as Charlie since elementary school. When uh, Nixon was uh... Uh, elected, uh, he uh, Mitchell took over the, the Justice Department, and Ramsey went about defending the people that he had prosecuted. To. Martin Sheen was born Ramon Antonio Gerardo Estevez in Dayton, Ohio, on August 3, 1940. He adopted the screen name of Martin Sheen, but did not change his name legally. Sheen grew up for a time on the island of Bermuda due to his father's work as a machinery inspector at the National Cash Register Company. Sheen contracted polio as a child and had to be bedridden for a year. Sheen's mother died when he was 11 years old. Sheen was drawn to acting at a young age, but his father disapproved of his career choice. 
Despite the opposition, Sheen deliberately failed his entrance exam for the University of Dayton and borrowed money from a Catholic priest to fund his move to New York City in his early 20s to pursue an acting career. Sheen developed a theater company with other actors in the hope that putting on a production would gain him attention. In 1963, Sheen made an appearance on the television science fiction series The Outer Limits. By 1964, he'd gained a co-starring role in the Broadway play The Subject Was Roses. He would go on in 1968 to reprise his role in a film of the same name, which earned him a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actor. In 1966, Sheen starred in the television production Ten Blocks on the Camino Real, an adaptation of the Tennessee Williams play Camino Real. In the early 1970s, Sheen worked as a guest star on a number of popular TV shows, including My Three Sons, Hawaii Five-0, Mod Squad, and several others. In 1972, Sheen co-starred in the Emmy-winning TV film, That Certain Summer. The film was controversial for the time, and it was said to be the first TV movie in America to portray homosexuality in a positive light. Sheen's next important film role came in 1973, when he starred with Sissy Spacek as the antisocial serial killer in the crime drama Badlands. Sheen portrayed a hot rod driver in 1974's TV movie, The California Kid, that same year, Sheen got an Emmy Award nomination for Best Actor in a Television Drama for his portrayal of Eddie Slovak in The Execution of Private Slovak. He was then cast in Francis Ford Coppola's 1979 film Apocalypse Now. This was Sheen's big breakthrough, and he quickly gained wide recognition. The movie was set in a Philippine jungle during typhoon season, and it was physically grueling. Coupled with Sheen's heavy drinking at the time, he's admitted he struggled through filming. Twelve months into filming, he suffered a minor heart attack. During his recovery, his younger brother, Joe Estevez, stood in for him for a number of long shots. Compromised uh, one of uh, Phil Berrigan's uh, cellmates to get information, and they went on trial. Uh, the, the long and the short was uh, the trial ended in a hung jury. Martin appeared in 140 episodes of The West Wing, out of the show's 156 total episodes. For seasons one through four, Martin earned $150,000 per episode. That's approximately $13.4 million in earnings. For seasons five, six, and seven, he earned $300,000 per episode. That's approximately $20 million in earnings, bringing his total salary from the show to around $33 million. He may have also eventually negotiated a small percentage of the syndication profits that would have brought an additional windfall over the years. Martin's net worth is estimated to be $60 million. Cars you'll find in his garage include a Lamborghini Urus, an Audi R8 V10 Plus, a BMW i8, a Bugatti Chiron, a Bentley Continental GT Speed, a Dodge Viper, a Ferrari La Ferrari convertible, a Koenigsegg Agera RS, a Jaguar I-Pace, a Mercedes-Benz CLS 320, a Mercedes-Benz E-Class AMG,
a Mercedes-Benz AMG SLK 320, a Porsche Carrera Turbo, and a Porsche 944.